Well, we define an eco-village as a community that is designed in a participatory way to encompass all four dimensions of sustainability, social, cultural, ecology, and economy, for a regenerative future. So the, the three main aspects are that it's not the design by outside or the, the design that happens from tradition and the past, but a conscious design where we look at how do we live together? How are our waste systems, for instance, designed? And what of this is working really well and what could be improved? We really believe in the good hearts, but also the intelligence of human beings and that we can find solutions to the problems that we face. But we need to do it together in communities. But at the same time, we see that our world is uh, moving towards ever more consumerism and things like that. Do you see, which one do you think will prevail? Will it be the consumerism and living in cities or that kind of eco villages uh, lifestyle? Well, firstly, we are bringing the village to the city. So we believe that the eco-village concept, and we have many examples around the world, is just as implementable in cities um, as it is in the countryside. It's not a countryside thing. It's about rebuilding community and reinstating our belief in ourselves as human beings that we can co-design our lifestyles. Um, I think there's two movements in the world right now. One movement is driven by the capitalist economic system, uh, which is driving a growth in consumerism. And for sure, there's also a longing in the human being for beauty, for luxury. But um, we bring the concept of luxurious simplicity. On the edge of consumerism, there is a, a, a waking up about what are we actually consuming? What is this doing to the planet? What are we actually feeding ourselves with? Where is our food coming from? How much poison are we feeding our children? Um, what are we wearing? How much poison is in the clothes? You know, and on one one level, it's really um, the the actual chemicals that we're receiving in our food, our clothes, our living environments, but it's also the energy of destruction of um, of people and nature that goes into the production of those um, consumer goods that people are no longer happy with. If we look at the scientists at uh, science at the moment, they would say it's too late. However, I believe that as human beings, we have extraordinary capacities for creativity and innovation. And if we allow our hearts and our minds to really start to work together, we can change the reality that we are creating on the planet today. I know that a lot of our eco-village networks are involved in the cleanup actions in many countries around the world. So if you are interested, come to the, the Global Eco-Village Network website, ecovillage.org. Check into your region. We have... We reach out to around 10,000 communities on all continents. So find out where are those eco-villagers and where are the people that are, um, have, are similar minded to you in your country and your environment.